Welcome back to the PowerPoint series of video tutorials from Activia Training. In our next short tutorial, we're going to have a look at using Presenter View. Okay, so I'm going to open up PowerPoint. Okay, and there's an example presentation I prepared earlier. Okay, so a very simple presentation, just eight slides. Uh, each slide has got a transition, but there's no graphics on there, and there's no animations on the bullet points. It's just going to speed things up a little bit. Okay, now I'm sure you all know how to run a slideshow. We head for slideshow and click from the beginning and the presentation runs. Now let's escape out of there. When we're given a presentation quite often of course uh, we're going to have our computer hooked up to another monitor or perhaps a projector and uh, in normal circumstances uh, what the audience sees on the screen is exactly what we see on our PC as well. However, we can change that. Now, the first thing I want to do is head for the Slideshow tab, and on the right-hand side, we have our monitors to control there. Now, you can see that uh, the monitor option here is set to automatic. I can drop that down and actually indicate which monitor the presentation should be shown on. Okay, so uh, SyncMaster uh, Monitor 2. SyncMaster is the monitor that we're looking at. So there's the presentation. Let's escape out. Let's change that to my primary monitor. And I'll run it again. And there you go. So we're still looking at PowerPoint here. Okay, the presentation is running. You can see a lot of this is grayed out now. Uh, the presentation is just running on my other screen. Okay, so I can uh, have the audience view my presentation uh, whilst I'm still looking at PowerPoint. Okay, now, this time though, I want to use Presenter View. Now the presentation is still going to be running on my primary monitor. Let's change that to SyncMaster. Okay, so I want to use Presenter View and I run the screen. Okay, so what I've done there is indicated where I would like the presentation to be shown. Now my other screen, I'm no longer looking at PowerPoint. I'm looking at Presenter View. Now let's switch those round. Okay, so I'm going to show my presentation on the primary monitor and this monitor here will show me presenter view so I click from the beginning <coughs> okay so my second monitor there or in most cases a projector screen the presentation is shown uh, but on my screen I see presenter view now this gives us uh, quite a few benefits okay so up at the top I've got a few controls there that will first of all end the slideshow and that's it done I can show the Windows taskbar, and this one will show on the presentation, of course. Give it a click, and the taskbar has popped up on the presentation. Okay, and I can also change the display settings. Okay, so I can switch back to duplicate in the slideshow on both, or swap them around. So let's have a look at the presentation on mine. And I'm going to go back to my second monitor and swap them back again, and present a view comes back again. Now, of course, I get a large thumbnail of the slide, so I can see exactly what uh, the audience is seeing. Uh, up the top, I get a timer telling me how long the presentation has been running. And on the right-hand side, uh, a little clock telling me what the time is so I don't overrun. And I can also see the next slide. So wait to come up is slide number two. If I give that a click, slide number two will pop up. And you can see uh, immediately below that, speaker notes. Now, quite often when we're given a presentation, of course, we may have notes on each slide to remind us what we're supposed to be talking about. And these are the notes for slide two. And I can increase and decrease the size of those notes to help me out whilst I'm given my presentation. Down at the bottom, we have some navigation controls. So again, I can click and click to advance the slide. Or remember, click the thumbnail of the next slide. On the right hand side okay uh, now the normal shortcuts still work of course okay so I could press a slide number two and enter and it will jump back to two and the next slide of course will go back to three okay but I've also got additional controls underneath the main slide at this point okay so see all slides uh, now, this is not on the main screen anymore, so on the main presentation, we're still looking there at the uh, the full slide. This allows me to decide what I'm going to look at next, click it, and it jumps there. And 
click and it jumps to another slide at that point. I can also zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so I click zoom into slide. Okay, and rather than it just zooming in on a random point on the presentation, I can then choose which part of the presentation I'd like to zoom in on. Let's see all of the bullet points and click. And at that point, again, I can use the pan hand to move around the slide. Another click of the zoom button zooms it back to its full size. Annotation wise, a lot more control. So we have our pen icon on the left hand side. I give it a click and I can switch between the laser pointer and the pen. And of course, the highlighter. I can also change the color a lot easier than I could on a standard presentation. So let's change that to green. Highlights and we'll switch back to the pen and we want a purple pen. OK, now that I made a thorough mess of that, I can click back on my pen options there and use the eraser to erase individual elements. It's going to get that eventually. There you go. Or erase all objects. Weirdly leaving my last bit of highlight there. That's it. That's gone as well. OK, and a final option on there. More slideshow options. OK, so we can go back to the last viewed slide. We can hide present view, which I'm not going to do. OK, black and white the screen and of course get help at that point. So if we forget any of those crucial shortcuts, uh, we can have a look at the help screen without it this time displaying directly on the presentation. OK, so there you go, a quick introduction to how to use Presenter View. Hope you found that useful. Look forward to seeing you on the next video tutorial.